In today's video, I try to survive 100 days on a modded SMP with my friends. Let me quickly introduce you to them. Tesla. Mystic. Waffles. <laughs> Pizza. Gilly Bonga bonga. Let's go. Our main goal for this video is to work together with my friends to try and progress as much as possible to the mods on this server, as well as create a huge modded civilization. Now, if you want to play along, check out the video's description for more info and hit that subscribe button. I'm Josh and V, and as always, enjoy the video, baby. Let's go. This, this is hot. This one's good, okay? You're going to enjoy this. Yo, what's up, guys? Oh, hey. Yo, Yo hey. you guys ready for 100 days of modded Minecraft? Yeah. yeah. First one yeah. to get rich is a loser. Wait, I mean, what? winner. What? <laughs> and just like that, our modded SMP journey began. Oh, I'm chopping all the trees. Boom! Oh, what? I just got a, a ding. You never know what's gonna happen in these mod packs, and that very feeling is what makes it so exciting. So, any plans? So, oh, oh, I saw that. I do so. have a plan. Uh, <laughs> come here! Yo. Come here! Wait, Ace, don't go that way. That's a scary looking biome. I don't think we should, we should do that. Wait, Ace, I won't hurt you. I won't hurt you. Let's team. It's not you that I'm worried about. It's this thing that's in the water. What thing? It's like a lily pad. Oh, I thought that was a lily pad. Nah, nah. Ow! Hey! Hey! Stop it! Hold on, guys. Let's team. Let's team. Let's go find Sodi okay, and team. I don't know. Me and Blue are gonna make IFC and Sinecraft fried chicken. What? What? How are you floating? I, I got I, I got a loot bag and air charm. Anyways, I met up with my friend Sodi, and although lacking adequate gear, we began strategically contesting the extraordinarily strange mobs of this mod pack. Whoa, there's a skeleton right there, and he's got a sword on his back. Perfect. I'm gonna go whack him. No, no, Sodi, don't. Oh, no. I'm gonna. What the? Oh. Whoa! How am I so fast? Oh. Did you get fast? Because I got... Oh, no. What the heck just happened? <gasps> hey. Hey, give oh. me that loot bag. So there you go. Oh, there you go. Okay, thank you. I'm actually going to die soon. Very loot bag. An ender book. <gasps> oh, this thing lets me teleport. Let's go. Sick. Uh, Sodi? What am I looking at? Anything uh, look different to you? <laughs> As, uh, uh, no, he looks, he looks normal. Uh, I wouldn't What's say wrong? that's normal. Oh, he hits hard. He hits hard. Oh, got him. nice. He dropped some scrap metal. Don't know what that does. We'll figure it out later. Yeah, whatever that strange half cow, half skeleton thing was, unfortunately would be the least of our worries. Whoa, it's a frog. I got a frog. Okay, I got a frog. Oh, oh, H just died. He was slain by a bug eye. Sodi and I headed towards the caves and found ourselves in what would be a disastrous ah! predicament. Oh, no. What are you guys doing? The oh, get me out. Get me out. Get me out. No. I'm stuck. Someone dig the block of ball! There we go. Oh, Am I still blue? Did. Am I still blue? <laughs> yes. I blew the pee the Wait, what? Uh, okay, so I found a fruit, I ate it, and now I'm blue. <laughs> Dabba -dee -dabba -dee. I guess you could say Sudo had a bad case of the blues. <laughs> <laughs> oh, moving on. After getting trolled to go water? near a poisonous no, mushroom, uh, I was saved by the presence of a nearby cherry tree. It's cherry leaves. I collected some berries, stood in awe in front of these mystical light green magical auras, raided a mini hut, attempted to trade with the naturalist, and saw a giant water dragon. It fought a Sasquatch. It looks sus. It literally is a Sasquatch. <sighs> Anyways, Sodi got this emerald pickaxe from a loot bag, and so we headed into the mines in search of resources and riches. All right, we gotta actually keep our wits about this. This is really modded. Anything could happen, literally. All right. Uh, what was that noise? No idea. Oh, I found a dungeon. Whoa! 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 Oh, oh no! Oh! Oh, he actually doesn't do that much damage. Attack! Gang up! Gang up! Oh, there we go. Oh, a whole bunch of stuff. Bunch of weird stuff I elite really... Outlet. I don't know how to use, but I will take all that gunpowder. After raiding the dungeon, Sodi and I quickly began yeah. to advance some of our armor and tools. Let's go. Thank you. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, yeah. We're literally like five minutes into this, and I already got an obsidian pickaxe. We already have an emerald pickaxe. And the golden king just died. He burned to a crisp while fighting a flame spewer. Well, it sucks for him. I don't want to be doing that. Oh, Zomber. Okay, this server must have been stricken with a rush of bad luck, because then this happened. Nice. Oh, no. Now there's a... Skelly. What the? Dodge and leave. Dodge. What the? What the book? The magic book. Oh, no. Oh, I knew I should have returned my library card. It's going to kill me. No. He's doing a lot of damage over here, Sodi. I'm coming. I'm coming. He did. Thank you. Mind you. No, I'll save you. Oh, now I'm going to die. Run, 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 run. Oh, no. No. Go up the water. Go up the water. Go up the water. Up the water. Up the water. Oh, no. Another one. Oh, no. 
Oh, okay, I knocked me down. Okay, let's just stay right here for a second. Recoup. I wonder what's in that chest. Oh, I got a loot bag. Wait, whoa, what? An ender orb. Reusable ender pearl? Ancient fishing rod of misadventure. What? This grave magic makes the fishing rod faster and unbreakable. Fishing bad luck X. Oh, I'm so confused, but you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. Oh my gosh, that thing's looking sus, but I like it. Oh! Wait, no, that's a creeper. Watch out. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You got I don't know. I see a whole bunch of green circles on it. Poison. Woo! What? Spider on a spider? What is going on? Watch out. Coming through. Coming through. An emerald sword. Let's go. Um, what? What? Run, 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 run. No, no, nope, I'm not doing we're that. Drunk, I am drunk. not doing that. It's literally what? a clown. We were fighting for our lives. It was time to get out of these treacherous no, caves. No, 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 I'm stuck in it. All right. Oh, no, no. Watch out. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Finally, we barely managed to escape with our lives intact. It was now time to find a place to begin building the community base. What would eventually be the center of our future civilization? Well, we're gonna, I'm going to go find a spot for us to build. I found this place near some oil, which to me seemed like a great spot to begin building. So guys, you see that oil right there? We're going to build a town by this oil, all right? We're going to be rich. And so the construction of our community base began. Exciting. This would be the central hub to help kickstart our efforts in this modded realm. However, not far into building, we got interrupted by pro archers as he wanted to show us something. Something uh, interesting to say the least. I mean, look at this. What am I looking at? <laughs> that does look a little weird. <laughs> yeah, Josh, go take a look. What? What the heck? Wait, what? It's just flying and burning. It was so majestical. That, that yeah, that was weird. Uh, as we continued building, let's just say a lot happened. There were forest fires. I somehow got a drop of evil, which, by the way, I can use to make a super OP mob farm later on. Oh, yeah, and I got a diamond enchanted chest plate from a rare loot bag. Not something blue somehow caught a goblin who we then mistakenly decided to keep as a house pet. Oh, man. He's being a naughty guy. Basically, what I'm saying here is unexpected things continually and frequently occur throughout this series and and so i hope you got a drink and some snacks ready to go because this is just the beginning of our most wild adventure yeah everybody gets their Amber. own emc table you get an emc table you get an emc table you get an emc table wait i need table. one i need one now if you know what an emc table is you know that it's going to be extremely helpful for us yeah the slime sling allows for some great moments. I highly recommend crafting it if you plan on playing along. I really want to what test out this in? fishing pole. Hey, you remember that wildly over-enchanted fishing pole I had gotten? Well, I was curious exactly what, what would happen if I used it. And so I yeeted my way down to the oh. river and gave it a couple casts. Wrong way. Let's try out this magic fishing pole. All right, here we go. We'll cast just like a normal one. Oh, we got an octopi. I'm just kidding. It's an octopoo. <laughs> Oh, he died! He died! <gasps> Lost tablet. This tablet must have possessed a great power long ago. It needs time for its magic to awaken. What? Strangely enough, I was getting these seemingly magical lost tablets with coordinates posted in the description. Bro, the lost tablet just gave me coordinates to go to. It's 600 blocks away. Should we go to him? My curiosity got the best of me. What could possibly be located at these coordinates? Yeet. So I once again began yeeting myself in the proper direction, hoping to find perhaps some sort of magical treasure. It's somewhere around here, but I don't really... Oh, Wait, no, this is I the exact chords, but... Maybe it's down. Wait, I oh, see, I see it. Maybe look up. No, it's right here. It's hovering. Wait. Well, ladies first. Wait, throw me that back. Um, yeah, I think. Huh. This is the exact what? coordinates. Uh, mine also activated. Has a. Wait, yours has a, a. Yours have a chess icon, and mine has a village icon. Lost tablet, more like a lost cause. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Unfortunately, I I did not understand what was going on here. If you know what I was supposed to do, please kindly leave a comment and tell me, so that way I know for next time. Speaking of time, by the time I got back to our base, apparently Think Waffles made some progress with the superhero mod, and yeah, that's right, he tossed me a syringe, and hesitantly, I injected myself with this uh, mysterious black fluid. Oh, I just inject myself with it? Yeah, you just inject yourself. All right, guys, I'm injecting myself 
with some mysterious fluid. I'm, I'm trusting him. We'll see. Ah! Oh, that was underwhelming. What happened? Uh, you gotta use the ability. Wait, Wait, X? Oh, oh, it changed my Yo. whole skin. Wait, did I get extra hearts? Uh, yeah, you did. You get an extra row. Oh my gosh. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I was insanely powerful. But you know what they say. With great power comes a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> I'm so powerful. <laughs> Where's my grave? After calming down from the excitement of being a superhero, I, I went on my very first mission as one to help a fellow peasant, aka the Golden King, defeat a hive of infected aliens. Gold, I can literally fly. <laughs> You're just a little slimy little guy trying to get over there. Shush. Don't worry, I'll help you defeat these monsters, fellow peasant. <laughs> Come on, slime boy, let's go. <laughs> Your first task, defeat them in there. All right, let's see what they got. Oh, oh well, let's get him. Come on, Josh, you can do it. Yeah. I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to punch him. I'm let's get him. I'm let's get him. Stand back, Golden. I got this. Wait, hold on. I think we gotta break this. Oh no, here, I'll distract him. You break it. Vein mine it, vein mine it. After flailing lightning beams for what felt like forever, eventually I was thrown into an existential episode and began to question why I was even doing this in the first place. I mean, sure, the aliens were ugly and creepy, but unless they begin to infest and overtake our entire world, why not let them be, you know? I'm getting out of here, Golden. This is not for me. And so, I headed back to base and continued to work on some small details to finish up the aesthetics of our build. Sodi, can you get some glass? We need some windows. Do you have uh, any glass? No, I, I didn't get any. I'm so sorry. Oh, you're good. You're good. I'll just I'll just wait. You need glass? Keep on talking and you're gonna witness my rap. Hey! Oh my. After getting in the face, I decided to show Sodi how to yeet himself with the slime sling. If you aim it up a little bit more, you go straight back. Aim it up a little more? Like towards the stairs. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Think Waffles came back from a solo adventure showcasing his latest defeats, which were quite impressive, by the way. Uh, don't you think these are a little too big for the house? Yeah. But not as impressive as the super OP automated mega XP farm that I was about to build. All right, it's time to make a mob farm. I started out by digging out a large area for the farm directly below our house. Then I went to go mining because I needed specific ingots to craft some of the machines that I was going to use. But I ended up finding a dungeon with a cool beetle mask and realized I could fly with a spawner back to our base. How, how cool is that? Okay, this is one thing Waffles showed me just how rich he had gotten. I have a present. 18 diamond blocks? Sheesh! So what you're telling me is we're already rich. Yeah, and if you think that is a lot, um, <laughs> trust me. In this mod pack, things are so insanely expensive. So we got we got a lot of work to do still. You know how you called me slime boy before? How do you guys? Yeah. Almost full diamond. You want to see armor. something cool? Uh huh. Peace out. Oh. Okay, now I actually went mining and successfully got all the ore types that I needed. I smelted down all the ingots so that I could learn them in the EMC table, and in order to kill all the mobs and collect their XP, I was going to need a mob grinder from Industrial Foregoing. Now, hey, this was a slight problem, because in order to make the plastic required to craft the mob grinder, I would have to set up a latex processing unit to make rubber, which is what you use to make plastic. However, in order to get the rubber, I had to make a tree fluid extractor to harvest latex from a tree, and uh, yeah, it's quite the process. But in the meantime, while things were processing, I managed to catch a couple of geckos and uh, make them our house pets. They're gonna be nice and happy and live a nice long life in a two by one. Or is it a one by two? Yes, we got a latex bucket. All right, so now we just put it in here and we made some tiny rubber. Um, why does Ace keep killing Jerry? Man, I am so excited to see how this insanely OP mob XP and item farm turns out here. But uh, in the meantime, let's all take a listen to what my friend Pseudo has to say. Yo, Josh, do you know what this reminds me of? Um, these not reminds me that everyone who watches this video should like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> or else end up like him. Hey, yo, yo. <laughs> hey, speaking of subscribing, someone cough cough Ace Gaming did the forbidden task oh, and yeah. opened up a chance cube near our oh, house. There's a bedrock. How are we gonna get rid of this bedrock? This is why you don't mess with chance cubes. Now I happen to stumble across the area and notice an uh, ever-changing multicolored sheep just sitting there. Bro, look at this sheep. Oh, its name's Jeb. Oh, gosh. And so, I did what any normal Minecrafter here would do, and uh, I picked it up and brought it back to our house, you know, to live in harmony with the geckos. This is beautiful. This is what it life's works. about. <laughs> 
<laughs> Poor Jeb. He's gonna stare into a block for the rest of his life. And finally, finally, after what felt like forever, I had finally crafted the mob grinder. I got a mob crusher. Tomorrow, I'm gonna make the mob spawner. It was time to get down to business, baby. Uh, after, of course, you know, catching a few more gecko pets. Ah, beautiful. So many geckos. I crafted some death generators, which happens to use bones to generate power. Now, that is really important because that meant we could make the mob farm's power self-sustaining. That means it powers itself infinitely, basically. And uh, if that confuses you, just, just keep watching and you'll see what I mean. I also made an emerald upgrade to increase the radius of the mob grinder. And I crafted builder's wands to help place the dirt that will eventually be turned into cursed earth and finish up the walls around the farm. And now's a good time to let you know that when a drop of evil is placed on grass, it turns it into cursed earth. And cursed earth spawns various kinds of very evil and powerful mobs. Which is actually perfect for us because that means we can get a bunch of different kinds of loot and XP from them. You'll see, we even get like loot bags and enchanted books. It's dope. However, it has to be completely dark in order for the mobs to spawn. And so we place down dark glass. That way we can see into the farm, but the light won't pass through. That's that's key. Alright, so this is pumping into there. Okay, listen, this is when things get slightly complicated. So if you ever want to make this in your own world, because it's, you know, super OP and stuff, you're going to want to pay attention. I placed down item pipes exporting from the mob generator and into the surrounding death generators. And then I place servos where the item pipes connected to the death generators, and I set them to whitelist mode and whitelisted bones. This meant that the item pipes would only allow bones to enter the death generators. I then led the rest of the pipes all the way up to our attic where I connected them to a bunch of golden chests. That way all the items we get from the mob farm will be brought into our attic for easy access. I then found a lizard! Hey! A lizard. lizard! I found a lizard! Wait, you already know I placed them with the rest of the pets. Yeah! We got a pet lizard! Now as you can see I connected fluid pipes into some open block tanks, but this will actually become a problem later Later on that we're gonna have to fix. I wasn't actually aware of this at the time and had ignorantly decided that the farm was ready to be turned on, meaning I thought it was time to place the drop of evil and turn the grass blocks into cursed earth. But you'll see how this goes. Alright, you guys ready for this? Yes, yes. yes. I'm really scared. This might go terribly wrong. Alright, three, two, one. Ah, oh, get me out of here, get me out of here! Oh no. It's already it's working! Bro, oh, let's go! Holy let's go! And it was working! But we were soon about to find out that we made a grave mistake. Okay, the bones aren't getting exported out. Um, the first mistake was not placing a servo set to whitelist to export bones from the mob grinder. I think it's working. It's working! The items are going up! Oh, oh that's so cool! Oh, that's so sick! And they will be transported to our upstairs. Okay, while everything seemed to be working at this point, little did we know our lives were in imminent danger. I think we're all gonna die in 45 yeah, we're seconds. All Why? What's doom? I think that that's an insta kill. Uh, get milk! Where's milk? Oh! <laughs> and just like that, my first death on the server. And fingers crossed, hopefully the last. Yeah, it turns out the death generators, well, uh, hey, they cause death. What do you know? If you stand too close to them, they will give you an effect that as far as I know will 100% cause you to die. Like, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, everything in there is cursed. Anyways, uh, it seemed the XP tanks were filling up fast, so, so that was cool. And so I set up reinforced drums in between the tanks, which I believe can hold like 4,096 buckets. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> but this wouldn't be the last of my problems. In fact, it was just the beginning. But first, uh, Sudo. He, he <gasps> wanted to show me something. He's got a dragon. Can I get it? Can I get it? I want a dragon. I summoned it using a grave. Really? Yeah. I was planning on getting a dragon of my own later on. Now, not with the grave method, but instead searching for a dragon's egg. But that's later on. Anyways, back to the All problem. Right. We needed a way to turn now mob essence into usable on. XP so we could finally complete our dream of having an XP. This took me a while to figure out, but don't worry, I'll make it quick and easy for you guys to understand. Basically, the new plan was to turn the mob essence into usable bottles of enchanting. Now, how, you ask? Simply by piping the mob essence into a fluid transposer. This one combined with glass bottles would give us just that. Bottles of enchanting. Beautiful. There we go, now we're getting bottles of enchanting. Let's go. After literally maybe an hour, I went upstairs to check on the loot and we already had a couple of yeah. chests filled with a bunch of items. There's various enchanted books, as well as solidified experience, a bunch of bottles of enchanting, and, and a ton of loot bags. Yeah, I got 44 enchanted bottles. Now, hopefully you understand why setting up this type of farm in your game early on is so useful. <coughs> What's up? Don't mind me. What is that, Golden? Uh, so you know how Subzilla oh. has a dragon? Bula. Yeah. When I did it, I got this hell button. <laughs> No, come
Oh. Ah! Now to get a break from all that technical stuff, man, I decided to go see what Castle and Heavy were up to. And well, let's just say these two players cannot and should not be trusted. You'll see why later on. Ah. What are you guys doing over here? We're gonna do some good old capitalism. Anyways, as everyone progressed in the mods, let's just say we started to outgrow our community home. Hey, no oh, guys, oh, Jeb, oh. put Jeb out. No! no. Jeb. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hey, if you're watching this, quickly do me a favor and take this time to comment R.I.P. Jeb. He will be missed. Blue, I need to talk to you. Okay. Follow Where? me. And to top it off, this is when I found out the Golden King and not something Blue couldn't be trusted. Because of proximity chat, I was able to secretly listen on their conversation. And this is what they said. So you know how you, you always said you wanted to be a villain or at least help out? Yeah, bro. Well, you know your special ability? Yeah. Where you can, like, duplicate anything? Yeah. There's this group of people who were looking for infinite EMC. And I said, I know a provider. Mm-hmm. So, would you like to hook them up? Can you give me like a bunch of diamond pickaxes? All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. If they want to meet you, then I'll invite you. Well, that was suspicious. Yeah, basically not something Blue could duplicate diamond pickaxes because of his superhero powers. And uh, the Golden King was about to abuse that power in order to help Kasla and Heavy attempt to become the richest players on the server. Let me tell you, if that happens, it won't be good. It'll be bad. Very bad. <laughs> All right, here's, stand back, here's what I promised. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, beautiful. That's just a small offer. Ah, uh, it's very good. I love it, I love it. Yes, yes, sir, you know, you know me. This is very beneficial to the economy, yeah? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Have a nice day. You too. What deal did you just do? We're gonna take over. They were gonna do what? Take over? Oh, it was time I confronted them. You, uh, you wouldn't be trying to, you know take over the whole server or anything like that right oh uh, i don't know where you got this information oh you know listen, directly from your uh your own words listen that wasn't me you know that was a pre-recorded on listen kazla if you try to do anything uh let's just say evil i am gonna have to put a stop to it all right i want to see you try is that a threat? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I didn't want to have to do this, but uh. uh what? Gosh, you don't understand. What? I'm invincible. Wait a second. Did you already get superpowers? You're so right. I'm unkillable, Josh. No! There was only one person at this point who I could trust to help me. Someone knowledgeable regarding these mods. Think Waffles 42. Um, Think Waffles, can you, uh, can you follow me by chance? I can. You see that house? What house? Uh, that house? Yeah. You want to set it on fire? No, no, no. Actually, I mean, I mean, yeah. <laughs> now that you mentioned it. <laughs> I'm not putting any ideas in your head. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like... hey, I mean, listen up. You're my only chance, I think. Help me out here. Listen, your friend, not something blue, mm -hmm. he's turning evil big time, all right? He is? Yeah. I need you to tell me if there's a way to take out Castle's superpowers without him knowing. There there might be we began discussing our options and eventually we came up with a plan there's gotta be another way waffles think think waffles think i mean i, I could make like a super serum oh i, I just really got an know. idea i just got an idea why don't you tell him that you're giving him an in injection that's gonna make him even stronger but really it makes him weaker oh yeah i can do that i just need to get the daredevil one because it's blind it makes you blind but and it'll take away his other powers yes oh genius that, that's a plan that sounds like a plan okay well the plan was set we decided to grab some nearby animals we found left over from uh, a recently opened chance cube <laughs> however it looks like once again i was struck with terrible luck yo what's up blue yo just collecting some animals oh, oh. wait my soul's being drained i don't like this pig i do not like this pig i don't think that pig is very friendly oh what the <laughs> what <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I couldn't believe it. I died to the pig of destiny? I never would expect um, that to be my fate. I would not touch that pig. Anyways, I got right. my items and headed back to the base. Okay. 
at least we were making an absolutely disgusting amount of XP bottles from the mob farm. Guys, we're making so much bottles of enchantments, it's literally not even funny. Somebody open the door, I got a Jeb sheep. Jeb sheep. Oh my gosh, we have 277 common loot bags. At least we were making an absolutely disgusting amount of XP bottles from the mob farm. Oh, hard canister, that's good. It was time to move forward with expanding okay, so the city. The community home served its purpose, but we needed more space to develop further into the mods. And trust me, there was still tons more content we needed to explore. And so I gathered everyone around and gave them the plan for the next couple of days. We were each going to come up with our own unique, useful builds and bases surrounding the original community base to create one of the best modded cities ever to exist. Yeah, you could leave that there and make another one. Oh, no. Where did that come from? Oh, the tree's on fire. And so the plan was in motion and everyone got to work. Of course, while messing around here and there. Wait, like, look. Could you, could you stop <laughs> using your powers for a minute? <laughs> <laughs> What the? While everyone was just building their houses, someone, and we still have no idea who, set Castle's first base on fire. Oh, yeah. We didn't start the fire. Oh, I can't fly over here. Who did it? Well, I get the bird out of the house, burned down mine. Mine Are sucks. you a professional firefighter? Don't worry, I'll save it. We all helped to put this out the me, fire. Now, why you ask? Well, I'm going to be honest. I oh, wish it was me it. who set it on know, fire, but someone, someone beat me to it. And, I, I well, no I, I didn't want to seem suspicious, and so I joined in on helping put out the fire. Oh, who did this? Mm -hmm. I, I have no clue who would want to do this. It must be a very bad person to want to do this. All right, it's time to build my epic Hey. As I was building, I ran into the Golden King in Castle, and just as the Golden King was rudely roasting my build, it appears I a accidentally, I promise it was an accident, set not something blue's enchanting tower on fire. I was sorry that I brought your name up. I'm mm -hmm. sorry for that. There's a fire hat over there. And then we kind of just went into Oh, poems. did I accidentally light his head on fire? Oh god, I think you did. <laughs> Who's trying to get up there to put it oh, out, god. but he only has a slide. <laughs> And so... And finally, the world's most useful build was finished. Uh, allow past me to explain. All right, guys. We have made some progress. I finished the oil rig. Now, you might be wondering, Josh, what is so important about this oil rig? I have to know why is it so important? Why is it so crucial to the game? Well, to put it simply, I lied. I, I thought it would look cool, and it's absolutely pointless. It I'll let you decide for yourself how cool it looks, at least, you know? Personally, I give it a 6.5 out of 10, but don't worry, because I do have a plan to make an actually, pro I promise, actual useful build. Like, for reals this time, all right? Imagine this, a giant factory that will be used to send the whole city into outer space. That poor dodo. Oh, it's not poor, it's evil. Look at those eyes. There you go. Here is where I'm gonna build my new factory. Yeah, that's right. Call me Steve on Musk. Now, the factory was a big task, and so I asked for some help. While I began constructing the outer walls, Think Waffles worked on all the necessary items and machines that would be required to send us all into space. And when I say us, I mean about 10 of us. So as you can imagine, sending 10 people to outer space is quite the mission, and so he had his work cut out for him. I don't think we need the basic stuff, because if- Now, I'm sure you're all wondering, where in the world are we gonna launch 10 rockets? Well, thanks for asking. I had the perfect vision to create an underground silo near the factory that would eventually have an automatic ceiling that would open up on command. And so I had Pseudo and Mystic and Ace help dig out a giant rectangle near the factory. And after I finished setting up the walls and sealing up the factory, Mystic showed me how to use a destruction catalyst to remove the ground way faster. And all it takes is just having gunpowder in your inventory. Oh, yeah, I like this. The construction of the underground silo took far more effort than predicted, uh, especially when it came to figuring out a system to open up the ceiling. But using drawbridges and a bunch of redstone, eventually, and uh, after a lot of time, we got it working. Yes, let's go. All right, guys, get your armor and take out your injection. It was time. We all gathered around and removed our superhero powers and armor and changed into our brand new space suits. Someone throw me an oxygen tank. Fellow Minecrafters, enjoy this next bit because it was time to venture into the great outer space. All right, space cadets, are you ready for an adventure of your lifetime? Yes, sir. Can I get a hoorah? Yes. Hoorah. hoorah? This is a journey that will mark history. history. All right, Heavy. I'm going to need you to load into your rocket. You have clearance. All right. 
Kasla, you have clearance. Go ahead and load up. Superhero, load into your rocket. Yes, sir. Mystic TN, go ahead and load in. Think Waffles, you have clearance, my friend. Bionic, go ahead and load in. Yes, sir. Not something blue. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, go ahead and load in. Ace Gaming YT, are you ready for this? Locked and loaded, Josh. All right, let's do it. Load in, buddy. All right, I'm going to go engage the roof, and uh, off we go. Now, remember, we're a team, so stick together, because you never know what you're going to find on these strange planets. Now's the time to send the last message to your loved ones, because there's no guarantee we'll make it back alive. Beckett, you better not use my dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, two, one, launch! Ow! Why are we burning? Somehow we got set on fire, and while I may have pressed a couple of wrong keybinds. Technical. No! Eventually, though, we were on our way to space. Why for me? Do the moon. Woo! I can see the stars from here. Woo Ooh. Look at all these planets. Where's the moon at? Here we go. We're locking in on the moon. Here we go. All right, now we just got to land the sucker. Preparing for impact. Oh! <laughs> I made it. I made it. I had a little technical difficulties, but I'm fine. Oh, we're in a smooth landing. Is anybody dead? Uh, no, but I'm yeah! Let's go. A little upset I didn't get the first steps for block kind, but it's fine. Oh, I see a village. Oh, there's the cheese orb. <gasps> Oh my gosh! I'm making contact with the first alien species. Hello, sir. You have a beautiful forehead. Whoa! Hey, I'm stealing them! Don't worry, buddy. I'm just gonna do a couple, uh, experiments. Okay, hear me what out. Hear me out. These aliens' foreheads were just a little too big. A, a little sus, if you ask me. And so, we gathered all the aliens we could find and put them into a single room and made it so the aliens were about to go, uh, boom boom. No, a villager's escaping! He's using his brain. He knows he something's wrong. This is what humans do best. Get away. Oh. Ah. Look, guys, it's an alien spider. Oh, it's got a helmet on. That's neat. Oh. After sending the big four-headed aliens to a different universe, we began our search for a very special dungeon. All right, let's find a dungeon. Hey, look, it's an alien zombie. Along the way, we found various space mobs until eventually we found what? it. Ooh, it's a dungeon. Get your dynamite ready, boys. Let's go. Let's go. Dynamite. All right, we got to find uh, a way to get back to the next planet. Oh. Oh, whatever you do, don't blow up the chest. Evolved skeleton I'm boss. Just ah, yo, the boss. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. I think we killed it. Gosh, that was terrifying. Oh, he got him. Me? Gosh, come here. Take this. Oh, and follow so me. Follow beautiful. me. Follow me. Big Open chest. this chest. <laughs> The magic chest. Let's the see what it has. The magic treasure chest. chest. Let's go! NASA workbench. We got it. Schematic. That's that means we can build a tier two rocket and go to the next planet. And just like that, we got the schematic to make tier two rockets, which we would need if we wanted to go to the next planet. However, for now, we decide to head back to Let's Earth. Let's go back to Earth and we'll regroup, figure out what our next move is. Now, if you guys want to see us explore this insanely modded space galaxy that holds a ton of extra planets, then leave a like and a comment down below and say something like, Josh, you got to do 100 days of modded space with friends, please. For now, though, it was time to head back to our spaceship so we could attempt to safely launch back to our home planet. <laughs> he just slime slinged into a different universe. All right, now our last objective is to somehow make it back alive. It was nice knowing you, Moon. And we have liftoff. Ladies and gentlemen, we're headed back to the big blue. I always knew Earth was flat. Woo! Wait, why is there a chest floating? Oh. Bio did not make it. <laughs> and just like that, we were all back in Earth's atmosphere. Except for Bio. Well, that was so graceful. You guys are all officially space cadets. Let's go. Uh, I now had a new mission. Ace Gaming was kind enough to give me a fire dragon egg, and how could I not accept such an amazing gift? And so I decided to build a nether portal to go to the nether in order to get netherrack, which is needed to hatch the fire dragon. Of course, this was my first time entering this modded nether, and I was curious just exactly what was here. And well, there was a lot, to say the least. Little radish guy. It'd be a shame if you fell. Ow, what the heck is that? Boom, we got another rack. 
Oh my. And God. also found an insanely OP chest with tons of good loot inside Look of it. Look at all this loot. Oh, and a wither school. What? It was time to head back to the overworld okay, and hatch my dragon egg. Please. Yeah, you ready to hatch some ready. dragon eggs? I'm already on you. Oh. There we go, my beautiful dragon eggs hatching. Ace and I were hatching our dragons together. Oh man, what a special moment. Oh, Ace, your dragon hatched. Oh, it hatched. Oh, it's so Welcome cute. to the world. <laughs> oh, oh it's a baby dragon. It's mine. It's so cool. Ace, we're teaming. We big teaming. I decided to name my dragon B after player Honeybee because sadly she couldn't make it to this video. Let's go. You know, somebody's house hasn't burned down in a while. I was thinking the same exact thing. Yeah, it's crazy. Sure would be a shame. Sure would be a shame. Well, we definitely committed arson. <laughs> oh no! There's a house on fire! Well, that's an honest day's work. Just after Castle's house finished burning, uh, he showed up, and so I quickly had to act like I didn't know what was going on. Wait, put out the fire, guys! What are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's all gone to the ground to the wow. ground. I mean wasn't the wasn't the best looking out So maybe this is a chance for something new Fresh, fresh start, start. Jen. Oh, fresh yeah. start fresh start for everything I'm gonna rebuild everything and cover it with something better Not not like everything just where your house was right? Yeah. Yeah Yeah, 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 okay yeah, yeah, yeah. Well this land Yeah, like this land like right here yeah, this land. No, no, no. You don't understand. This land. Yeah, this one, right? That, yeah, like this. Yeah, Castle was exactly. definitely plotting some sort of evil event. I'm assuming after losing both of his builds to fires, he was not only mad, but wanting revenge. You could hear it in his voice. But for now, I'm going to go grow my dragon. Yeah, you do that. I, I, I will. Um, they say that was, that was weird. Well, that was creepy. Anyways, I, I went and got a bunch of dragon meals so I could grow my dragon, and before I knew it, I was able to fly him. Woo! Yo, look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm flying my own dragon. I also found out I could breathe fire with my dragon, and so, of course, I had to go troll my friends. Run! <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> things got a bit go. carried oh, away no. once again. Oh no, wait. No, the witch hat. The witch hat. Yeah, hopefully, Blue doesn't see that his hat just got burnt down. That was Blue's hat. I'm not rebuilding that. I decided I wanted to craft some fire dragon steel armor because we plan to go into some special dimensions later on that have some difficult mobs and bosses. So we were going to need some good armor. Of course, that meant I needed to go defeat a bunch of fire dragons and collect their scales and blood. That's right. It was time to go dragon hunting. Who's that? She's beautiful. It's a mermaid. Oh, she's singing to me. Hi. Whoa! Hey, that is not- After flying around for a while, I found my first fire dragon. Oh, what the heck? Oh, found a dragon. Let's go. In a mansion. What the- I always thought these things were really weird. Alright, let's try and kill this dragon. Ah, she got me! Die, you stupid dragon! Try and fly away. Ah, he's eating me! She's almost dead. She's almost dead. Yes! I have defeated a dragon. All right, time to take his blood. Oh, what? I can pick it up. That's dope. All right, well, we're going to need a couple more of these, I think. With the help of others, we eventually got enough resources to craft the Dragon Forge, which is how you make the dragon steel ingots. Yay, we did it. Dragon Forge Fire Core. Okay. There we go. Yes, it's working. Oh, yeah. It's going crazy. It was working. Now we just had to wait for my dragon to fire up all the iron into dragon steel ingots. We crafted the armor and worked on enchanting it. And oh, also, Castle gave us all katars, which are swords with like 26 attack damage or something. But sadly, I couldn't find the footage of when he gave it to us. But anyways, it was time. We set up a portal to the first dimension. Exactly. Whoa. All right, guys, let's do it. Don't die. Whoa. Where are we? Whoa. Yo, I feel like I'm in the Matrix. There's people. It feels good to fly. We should stick together. I say we go. Yeah. Everybody head north. North. Okay. I'm gonna kill it. Where'd he go? Oh, watch out, guys! It's a floating creeper head. I'm gonna go kill it. I take out the. What's up, creeper guy? Explosives expert. If we give him TNT, he gives us coins, and if if we give him coins, he gives us TNT. 
Oh my gosh, these creeper heads are crazy. So apparently these dimensions are from Advent of Ascension, and the way they work is each dimension offers a challenge that you must complete in order to get to the next dimension. The first matrix looking dimension didn't have much to offer, it seemed, but in order to get into the next one, we had to specifically kill a wither in the nether. Holy, holy cow, what just happened? We can't reach it. You guys can't fight. Get it, get it. Hey. Yeah, I got the hey. nether star. This next dimension was insanely creepy, but we had to summon the Shadow Lord and defeat him in order to oh, progress. Oh, what the? This is creepy. Oh. Oh, Shadow Lord. Oh, I can't see. Waffles died. back well that was an interesting experience i don't really know if i liked it but uh it was an experience nonetheless after visiting just two of the dimensions from the advent of ascension mod i realized i just really don't find this mod enjoyable and so i switched my efforts to crafting my dragon some diamond armor and it was awesome there we go my dragon has armor come on jump <laughs> let's go oh my gosh this dragon's sick Oh, I can burn down whole forest. <laughs> All right, enough fun for now. Come here, B. Close that. Oh my gosh, look at what I did to the walls. And that's when Think Waffles approached me, saying he had crafted me some special Yo, OP Josh, armor. Yo, I got what's up? Like, really broken armor. It lets you have shields, so you can like don't take damage to anything. <gasps> Yo, let's go! I look sick. Wait, so what does it do? Yep. Shield. <gasps> no. <laughs> I have a literal force field around me. That's sick. That's right. He made me wyvern armor from Draconic Evolution. Yeah. Now, this armor is insanely OP. And speaking of OP, Mystic was back at his base and wanted to show us something yeah. special. Yeah. Hello, you. Mystic. Come here. Come downstairs. Particle Just accelerator. Oh, I think he's being a speedster. Speedster? <laughs> you good? What oh, the? Oh, my. Particle accelerator. <laughs> Now it's a charge up. Oh, it's charging. Oh, yeah, it's charging. It's charging. Oh, oh that's crazy. Uh, is it safe? It is. Oh. Are you oh! oh! Did it work? I'm a speedster. <laughs> Holy. Are you okay? Speed through the water. He's a speedster, but he's not a genius. Speaking of fire, I decided I want to build a town hall and host a very important meeting. Once the build was complete, I rang the bell and called everyone in, ready to give them the best speech of their lives. Oh, hello, everyone. Have a seat. Have a seat, Ace, you little floating man. It's been a truly phenomenal adventure with you guys so far. But there's one more objective we must complete. Slaying the Ender Dragon. Yo. 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 If you're ready to join me on my journey to slay this beast, follow me. That's right. It was finally time to search for the stronghold and fight the Ender Dragon. Last one, there's a rotten egg. Woo! It didn't take us very long at all before we found the portal. Right here. Ah, ha, ha, ha. All right, I'm gonna destruction catalyst in. Actually, I see it. I see it. Oh, it's right here. Be careful going in this place, right? You never know if you're gonna make it out. We started taking out the towers and begin attacking the Ender Dragon. But just before we were about to kill the dragon, I, I had a change of heart. I've had a change of heart, guys. What did the Ender Dragon ever do to us? We're invading its dimension. Why, why would we do that? That's it just... A fair point. It doesn't add up. It, it, it looks kind of friendly. What do you say, guys? We, we leave it alone. Oh, yeah. So how are we going to get back? That's a great question. How are we going to get back? I got a way. You know a way? But there's no portal. I got a portal. Okay, I guess let's do it. Oh, I just punched heavy. Whoa! What is this? Jump in, everyone! Jump in! Woo! Let's go! We did it! We escaped the end. What do you guys say? Uh, 50k likes and we'll continue the series? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Subscribe to my channel!